Alrighty, I'm making this video because uh, apparently a lot of people have what's known as avocado hand. And that's where when you're working on an avocado, you stab yourself. This is a bad thing, don't do it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it properly. So here you have genuine avocado. Um, we always wash ours first just because we're careful about that kind of thing. Um, one of the things you can tell if an avocado is going to be ripe is for one thing it's not too squishy it's a little it's firm but it's um it's got the if you pull the little knob out of here then it's green i don't know if you can see that i'm holding it up there but i have absolutely no idea if that's working okay anyway so the proper way to do an avocado is to toss that little thing away and get it out of your way so it doesn't bother you anymore. And then you take your knife and you go right down the center like this. And you don't have to push hard. Well, one of the important things is you got to have a sharp knife. Never not have a sharp knife. They're dangerous. Anyway, so you don't have to put much pressure in, but you go down into the center until you hit the pit in the middle. And then you just work it around. Normally I do this up in the air because it's easier, but you work it around until you've got a cut all the way around the avocado. And then once you've made a full circumference, then give it a twist and it comes right apart. And that there is a very nice avocado. I think I'll call it Fred. So um, the next part is, and this is where the danger comes in, and this is what everybody's doing wrong. So don't no matter how sorely you are tempted do this to get that pit out the way to get that out is to do that don't swing it real hard like you're cutting wood just just a little bit and you got a sharp knife remember that and so you just do that and then you give it a twist like that as if you was unscrewing it and then you pull it out and the next part the only safe way to get this thing off the end of this very sharp knife is to grab like this pinchers and push the pit off that way your fingers never get close to the edge and you don't die and go to the hospital or whatever so you also throw that away because you don't need it anymore next while I grab out a spoon next you want to get the good stuff out of the rind or the skin or whatever they call this bumpily stuff and you take a spoon, that's a pretty good sized spoon, roughly matches the circumference of the avocado. And you just work it under the skin. And that little guy pops right out. Voila, Voila exactly. There's a very, no, there's really nothing left in there. So you can throw that away. You don't need that either. So now you have your avocado. We always pull this brown stuff where, you know, we do that just because it's an aesthetic choice. And now you can cut your avocado any kind of way you want. I always cut it in my hand, but that's because I'm a thrill seeker and I like danger. You should not do that. You should cut your avocado this way. And maybe this way. Okay, so now you have an avocado. That's all you need to know in order to stay safe, not go to the hospital, and get to eat some of this great avocado goodness. Thank you very much. <laughs> so was that a good demo? It was.